In this video, we're going to talk about the alkaline foods versus acidic foods. Before going into detail, first you have to understand that food can be classified into two groups, namely the acidic food group and the alkaline food group. Now the question is, why are these foods categorized as such? The answer is because they affect the urine pH level when they're consumed. Our body's acid alkaline balance, also known as pH, can affect our overall well-being. Whatever food we consume, once it enters into our body, it will undergo processing and becomes acidic. Too much acid consumption can deplete the minerals in our body, thus growing the risk of heart disease, kidney problems, and osteoporosis. That's why we need alkaline food as well. It helps to balance out the acidity in our body. Next, we'll talk about pH value. pH stands for power of hydrogen. It's a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of our body's fluids and tissues. The total pH scale ranges from 1 to 14, with 7 considered to be neutral. Our ideal pH is slightly alkaline, 7.3 to 7.45. If the body pH value is below 7, that means it's acidic, whereas if it's above 7, it's alkaline. Now let's talk about the most common form of pH imbalance. The most common form of pH imbalance is excess acidity. It can lead to numerous health issues, and it can even be life-threatening. An acidic pH can occur from an acid-forming diet, toxic overload, emotional stress, immune reactions, or any process that deprives the cells of oxygen and other nutrients. Assuming if the pH reaches acidic pH, the body will try to compensate it using the alkaline minerals. If the diet doesn't contain enough minerals to compensate, a buildup of acids in the cells will occur. A healthy body maintains adequate alkaline reserves to balance the acids in order to maintain this pH. Why do you think acidosis is more common in our society? The reason acidosis is more common in our society is mostly due to the typical human diet, which is far too high in acid-producing animal products. Things like meat, eggs, and dairy, and far too low in alkaline-producing foods like fresh vegetables. In addition to this, we consume acid-producing processed food like white flour, sugar, and drink acidic-producing beverages like coffee and soft drinks. We use too many drugs, which are acid-forming, and we use artificial chemical sweeteners like NutraSweet, Spoonful, Sweet and Low, Equal, or even Aspartame, which are poisonous and extremely acid-forming. Now that we've already covered the reason for acidosis, let's move on to talk about its consequences. If these mineral losses and metabolic abnormalities continue, we can increase our risk for a number of conditions, including premature aging, osteoporosis, weaker brittle bones, fractures and bone spurs, mood swings, low energy and chronic fatigue, slow digestion and elimination, bladder and kidney conditions including kidney stones, weight gain, obesity and diabetes, slow metabolism and the inability to lose weight, chronic inflammation, high blood pressure, weakened immunity. One of the best methods we can do to correct an overly acidic body is to clean up the diet and the lifestyle. To maintain health, the optimum diet should consist of 60% alkaline-forming food and 40% acid-forming food. To restore health, the diet should consist of 80% alkaline-forming food and 20% acid-forming food. Generally, alkaline-forming food consists of most fruits, green vegetables, spices, lentils, seasonings or herbs, and seeds and nuts. Whereas acid-forming food comprises of meat, fish, poultry, eggs, grains, and legumes. The alkaline diet is also known as the alkaline ash diet or acid-alkaline diet. It emphasizes alkaline foods such as fruits, vegetables, and certain whole grains, which are low in caloric density. Healthy alkaline diet food involves the ideal balance between acidifying and alkalizing foods. Having an alkaline diet may have some potential in reducing morbidity as well as mortality from chronic diseases. Here are a list of some alkalizing vegetables. Spinach. It's very low alkaline forming. It's moderate in alkaline, with a pH of 7.5 to 
and spinach content raises alkalinity. Cabbage, low alkaline forming food with a moderate alkaline level of 0.75 to 0.80. It's also a good substitute for coca and it's mineral rich. Celery is a very low alkaline forming food. Its moderate alkaline level has a pH of 7.5 to 8.0, and it elevates acid food 5.0 in alkaline direction. Capsaicum, or bell peppers, low alkaline forming food, with a moderate alkaline pH level of 7.5 to 8.0. It's a good substitute for coca, and it's mineral rich. A list of alkalizing fruits. Lemons, they're highly alkaline forming with a pH of 8.5 to 9.0 and an excellent remedy against colds, coughs, sore throats, heartburn, and gastro upsets. Limes are also extremely alkaline forming foods with a pH level of 8.5 to 9.0 and they purify the kidneys. Grapes are a very low alkaline forming food with a moderate alkaline pH level of 7.5 to 8.0 and bananas. They're a very low alkaline forming food with a moderate alkaline pH level of 7.5 to 8.0 and they also elevate the acid food of 5.0 in alkaline's direction.